So in 2013, the New York Times wine critic Eric Asimov wrote this article where he was very disparaging about the levels of alcohol that seem to be creeping up every year in Chateau Neuf du Pop. And there were kind of two reasons for that, which were people chasing scores, you know, Robert Parker and trying to appease his palate and therefore sell their wine for more. And then the other possibility is uh, climate change. What do you think of this? And is this something that you've had to have had to sort of face with um, your winemaking? I think we don't, uh, for us, uh, the alcohol level is not uh, a concern and is not uh, uh, finally the, the right question. What is very important is to pick up the grapes at uh, when they're perfectly ripe. And in this case, you will be able, uh, if you pick up healthy grapes and, uh, and with the right uh, ripeness, you will be able to do balanced uh, wine and you will not feel the alcohol, even if it's more than 15 degrees. And um, so, uh, so what we do is that we have a very small team of uh, um, harvest uh, people and we 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 will uh, we have approximately uh, 15 days of harvest but it can last uh, three to four weeks we will start to harvest the plots that are ripe uh, and maybe we can stop for uh, two or three days and go to another uh, plot that is uh, ripe etc and we will definitely take our time and uh, sometimes we will even harvest a plot in two times uh, if uh, one part is ready and the other part is not ready. And in this case, you, uh, you are able to, to have very uh, balanced uh, wines.